Welcome back to the channel, guys and gals. Tonight we're running the F7 with the repainted NDM coal hopper and the two 1950 rebuilds. Now I've still got a couple things left to do. One of the things I did do was I modified a Lionel, comp, a Lionel coupler to made up to one of those cars and I'm still working on the other one to get it so that it could actually pull a full train. A temporary layout, you know, just, just something for fun, doesn't work good for testing purposes. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just been a lot of fun. So in one of the previous videos I did running, uh, just running the train, without realizing it, I had literally run that locomotive out of the starter set for six and a half hours. Six and a half hours of solid running. And honestly, I think that's pretty good for that locomotive. As you can tell, there is no couple on the rear combine just yet, but there will be. Like I said, I am still working on the whole uh, getting everything aligned and modifying couplers to actually fill those. And I had one step fall off, so I got to put a step back on it. And believe it or not, those 1950 rebuilds, those are actually two rail O scale wheels, or O scale trucks, I should say, with three rail wheels in it. Which is very nice. Oddly enough, those, those wheels are plastic, and I have never seen plastic wheels, so I don't know where they came from. So they decided to separate finally. That's what I was wanting to find out, what was going to happen when I modified. It's not so much this coupler that I modified, but it's been this one right here. That has somewhat given me some issues. Um, it's kind of wanting to drop down, as you can see, a little bit right there. So I may have to go in and tighten that back up again. But other than that, it's been running fine. Till now. So we'll get this fixed and we'll do another little video. And as you 
how you can tell, yes, I went ahead and numbered it 10380, which was exactly what was on the Menards car when I bought it. But I went with a little bit different styling on that just to uh, still give the presence of the NDM and some of the lettering I've seen on different prototype of cars that were done similar to this. Again, the D and E should have been a, a smaller lettering than what this right there, but it still gave the uh, presence of the NDM. So we'll get this fixed. I'll see y'all in the next video.